can see all the kids. Hey, guys. Hi. What's up? First <laughs> up, we up? are thankful that you would take the time to do this with us. They have some questions about weather for you. And what's better than going to an expert? Oh, yeah, no, this is my, really my pleasure. I, this is the first time I've done anything like this, so um, this is great. Hey, how old are all you guys? Lots of eight and lots of seven. Great. So, uh, Lily, you want to go ahead and ask first. So when you're asked your question, will you tell us your name? And then you can ask your question. And a nice, loud, outdoor voice. Okay. I'm Lily. Why did you decide to be a meteorologist? Yeah, uh, is this Lily? Yeah. All right. Well, why did I become a meteorologist? Uh, that's... That's a great question. And I, you know what, I honestly knew when I was about your age that this is what I wanted to do. I, um, I had some, some inspirational type uh, teachers when I was uh, in elementary school and I can still remember them vividly actually. And um, they were science teachers and, um, and I got really interested in weather. I grew up in Ohio at the time and it was a, it was a really snowy winter, I remember. Um, back in the late 70s, early 80s. And um, that just, I always wanted to know why it was snowing more than anything else. That's sort of my story is, um, I wanna know why things happen, the science and the math and all that stuff, not just that it's snowing, but why. And so I think that, you know, it was a combination of that real curiosity and having some inspirational teachers along the way that I think that's largely where I'm at today. Um, those are probably the biggest factors. Nice, loud voice, Allie. What is your favorite thing about your job? All right, Allie. Uh, my favorite thing, well, I'm here at work right now, in fact, and um, we have a morning show that runs um, Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 9 a.m., and I really love what I do here. Um, the favorite thing is that the weather changes every single day. So when I come in here and I put my forecast together, it's different every day, and so the challenge is it's never the same and the thing about colorado is that the weather is is really difficult to forecast accurately and so we miss some and we get some right at the same time so it's never a, a given that you're going to get the forecast right here and i would say that's one of the one of my favorite aspects of my job that, that it is a challenge and that it changes every single day the other thing that I like almost as much in, in, is, are the people around here that I get to work with. They all seem to really like what they do as well, and I, and I look forward to coming into work every day. And Cole, Cole. Okay, okay. Cole. Um, is it fun to be a meteorologist? Because I might be one. Is this Cole? Yeah. Yeah, Cole, I, I wouldn't want to do anything else. Uh, I really do enjoy what I do. Um, you know, obviously, uh, I do, I get to be on television, but that's not the reason that I do this. I, I really uh, enjoy the challenge, as I was saying, and the people I get to work with. Um, but I like to, I like to, you know, kind of figure out what the story is, what the weather story is every day. So it's not just a forecast. It's how does it relate to people like you? You know, what does it mean for school? Are you going to have school if we get 10 inches of snow? You know, what does it mean for the average person? And so trying to relate that every day and make a story out of it, um, I think that makes it fun for me. So um, I hope that you uh, continue to follow your interest, and I hope that it grows. All right, Eli. How long do you work in a day? All right, Eli. Well, let's see. On a day like today where it's sunny outside and there's not a lot going on, um, I don't work a, a full day as it would be called. So probably today I'll work for six or seven hours and then go home. Um, but um, there are a handful of days like that 
most of the time we have some sort of weather moving through. So case, then I'll work longer. Um, or if I have a story that I'm putting together and I need to write for our newscast, I do these Tomer's Trails adventure type stories. So that'll take a little bit more of my time. And um, so it just depends. It depends on um, the weather, depends on some of the stuff that I'm doing on the side. Uh, or maybe it's something else that the station needs me to do. Um, so it really varies. Some days it's, you know, I'll work six hours. Other days it's 10. It just, it really varies. Uh, sorry, say that again. How does it feel to the You know, it feels really good. But I'll tell you that uh, in the beginning, just starting out, you can get somewhat nervous doing this because, you know, it's kind of a new thing. So it does take, a, take some getting used to. But I always say that it's kind of like riding a bike. After a while, you just get it. And then it's just a matter of repetition, and then you just improve over time. Um, but I love it. I really enjoy it. I try to do the best job that I can every day. Um, the days that feel the best, in my opinion, are the most challenging days, like in the middle of a snowstorm, for example, or severe weather. When it's really, um, when, when you really just, when you're really trying to do the forecast off the cuff, and things are happening instantly uh, as you're sort of doing the forecast and you have to kind of adjust while you're going. Those are my favorite days. Um, so the sunny days when it's like 70, yeah, those are okay. You know, anybody can kind of do that. But it's the stormy days that I think are the most satisfying. And Cameron's not here today, but Maley's going to read his question. What names do hurricanes get? Okay, Maley. So... The hurricane names change every year, and some of them even get retired, like basketball player jerseys and numbers and all that kind of stuff. Like uh, Katrina, for example, that was a retired name because it was so devastating and had land, it had landfall with that. Um, each each year, the numbers or the names get selected by the National Hurricane the Hurricane Center, which is down in Miami, Florida. They come up with a list of names, and then we know the names like five years out. So each year there's like a list of, I don't know how many, at least a dozen. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, those, na those names all get selected ahead of time. Um, have you ever forecasted a tornado? Have I ever forecasted a tornado? This is Brady. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, Plenty of them over the years. I've been working here at Channel 2 and Fox 31 for about 10 years. And so, um, yes, I've had many tornado days, many days when there were tornadoes across the Front Range, Denver, Fort Collins, across the Eastern Plains. So, yeah, many of those type of days. And those are really uh, busy, busy, important days. What is the weather like on top of the mountains? Ah. That's a great, it's a great question. And this is the thing I think that probably separates me from everybody else that you may watch it. Um, in fact, it separates me from a lot of people, but it's really my uh, specialty is mountain weather forecasting. And I, I do a ton of it, uh, even when I'm not working here at the station. I work for teams climbing around the world, climbing the highest mountains. If you, you can name a mountain, I've probably had a team on that mountain. And... Um, so I think that gives me an advantage, knowing what the weather is like up there versus down here and how it sort of matches up with the way forecasts work. Uh, it's totally different. Like in Denver today, let's say our high temp is 60 degrees. Um, on a normal day, the weather on top of Mount Evans, which is a 14er, would be about 40 degrees colder. So it's only in the 20s up there for the high temp. It may be even colder. Uh, it may be sunny down here, and it could be snowing up there. Just two totally different environments. And when the wind is calm down here, it can be blowing 80 miles an hour up there. So it's knowing, you know, the difference in those two types of weather. Because if you know what it's doing up there a lot of the time, then you know what could happen down here because our weather moves from the mountains into Denver. It's a west to east type of thing. 
Um, and so I think that that gives me uh, somewhat of an advantage. Um, when I do my climbing, I climb like every week. I'll go climb a mountain or ski it. Um, like in the wintertime, it's extremely cold. And so you have to take a lot of extra gear and clothing and stuff. Uh, and so uh, it's just, it's a totally different environment. What is your favorite mountain to hike? That's a good question too. Um, I would say that my favorite mountain in Colorado, I get asked that a lot. And that's a, you know, it's, it's almost a tie, I think, between like, um, I like the, the high peaks around Aspen a lot, like the Maroon, for example. Those are a lot of fun to climb. Um, but I also like there's a peak down in southern Colorado near Alamosa called Little Bear Peak, and that one's always challenging. So I'd say it's, it could be either the Maroon Bells or Little Bear Peak. Uh, turtle, I would say that it's exhilarating. It, um, you know, like when you guys uh, study for a test or something, you put a lot of work in ahead of it and you hope to get a good grade out of it, good test grade. It's the same kind of thing climbing a mountain. Like there's a lot of preparation that goes into it. And so when you finally get the chance to do it and then stand on the summit, um, it's exhilarating and it pays off. It feels like the work that you put in pays off. So that's what I would say about that. Do you like to read about the weather? weather? I do. Uh, I'm a big reader. Um, I like to read. I think it's really important. And I love to, uh, I, I, I'm a co-author of a book that we did three years ago called Sleeping on the Summits. It was about a project here in Colorado that I did with my best friend that had never been done and it probably won't be repeated. But, uh, and, and that, you know, it goes to this love for reading that I have. I, I just think it's important that, you know, whether we read paper books or if it's a Kindle book or an e-book, I think that uh, you got to do it. I, it really keeps your mind sharp. Do you like to read about And you, this is Cammie? Yes. Well, Cammie, my, my favorite kind of weather is actually more uh, wintry weather than summer. Uh, I know a lot of uh, kids like you guys love tornadoes and, and that kind of stuff, but my favorite weather has always been large snowstorms. And um, that's what, like I said earlier, got me interested, I think, in a lot of this. And um, so my favorite kind of weather uh, aside from, you know, warm, comfortable sunny days, it is really snowy type weather. Thanks, Chris, so much. We're super excited that you talked to us this morning. Any other, uh, any other questions? Let me give you guys a little tour of the, uh, of the morning set here since I've got this on my laptop. I'll turn this out so you can see. Uh, this, is, this is our morning set here that we use. Uh, and then there's our background here on channel two uh, in the mornings. Um, and then just a quick look at the studio behind me, see some of the offices and the desks. And then um, some of our producers back there are getting stories ready. And this is our weather desk that I work at here for channel two. And then we have another identical one for Fox 31. But some of our producers like Carrie over there are working on some stories uh, for some other shows. Yeah? Fantastic. You guys have questions about it? What do we say to Chris Tomer today? Thank you.